Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm Cindy Daychuk with Queen Bee Creations and we're continuing our little series of kind of very quick, easy, little last minute Christmas crafts, activities, gifts, whichever you want to turn it into. Now, this one, um, I'm, just, I'm just peeling off the uh, thrift store sticker. <laughs> This one is kind of a bit of a redo of a previous video. I had a viewer ask if I had um, redone the video based on um, the fixes that I said that I would want to make, and I hadn't. And I had wanted to give it another go. So this is this is our other go. <laughs> this is it. Um, so what we're, we're doing, and, and I was looking for something that would just be, oh my goodness, the stickers, some of these stickers. All right, I'm gonna have to get gook to there. But what I am looking at doing is putting, this is one of the little, um, one of the little cuttings from the Jamie Ray Vintage Christmas decoupage paper. So, it's kind of Santa and his reindeer and his sleigh and a little girl dreaming of it. I'm just using Santa and the sleigh and the reindeer. And he's gonna fit in there. I want to have, I mean, you could just put the whole picture in and be done, right? And that's cute, you've got a nice little gold frame, awesome. I want to actually create a mirror backing. And the last time that I did this, when I, I did the mirror backing, I left what I thought was enough space for, I was doing a face um, from, uh, again, another uh, decoupage paper from Jamie Marie Vintage. But the decoupage medium, when I painted the decoupage in, um, took away some of the mirror backing. So I got a bit of a halo around it. So I had a couple of thoughts on how to fix that but I didn't actually get around to fixing it. So we're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. Because sometimes that's how these things go. You just have to keep experimenting. Oh my goodness, this is, this is a tough, tough wee frame. Um, this is where they've got all of the little, the little staples to hold the backing in going right through the backing board to break it through that oh my goodness okay so we're gonna do I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't need to see me futz with that and it's bugging me <laughs> so what we're doing here I could cut out my image or I could gently tear out my image um, I'm doing a tear but what I am doing is I'm taking a paintbrush dipping it into water and I'm just going to kind of paint some of the water around my image. And just, that's gonna make the tearing of my paper a lot easier. It's just gonna allow me to kind of tease it apart and give me some kind of rough edging, which is what I'm looking for. Now, this is slightly more heavy duty paper than others, but it will still allow you to kind of rip your paper nice and easily and giving you those nice rough edges. So I'm gonna get this all torn and I'm gonna get that backing board off of that frame. <laughs> Just could take a little more muscling than I wanted to, to have to impart but I'll get that, that backing board off and then I'll come back at you and we'll move on to the next phase. I have the glass taken out. Now you could paint this out. Because I'm doing kind of Christmas, gold really works for me and I'm leaving this as it is. It's got some nice little details and um, I don't mind the wear. It's gonna look fine for my project, but paint it out if you need for whatever you're doing. Now this is my little image and I'm gonna pop it underneath. We are going to be 
decoupaging it face down, in which case I can put it underneath kind of roughly where I'm going to want to decoupage it because that's going to serve as a bit of a guide. I want my mirroring effect to kind of go around that image. With me? <laughs> so I don't want to mirror the entire background because then it's going to be hard to see my image through it. So to do this, because we want to do kind of an antique mirror, we are, and, and just so you know, I have taken glass cleaner and I've cleaned both sides of my glass, which was un unbelievably dirty. So <laughs> that's clean. So we're working on a clean surface. We are taking the Rust-Oleum Mirror Effect paint. Ideally, if you are in a really enclosed space, I am in a huge honking warehouse, so I'm okay because I'm just gonna spritz it and I'm actually leaving. <laughs> but we are going to take the mirror effect and we are gonna spray kind of around my edges and just very lightly. And then I am taking, this is a mixture of water and vinegar, 50-50. I just keep on hand, I use it all the time. Oh my goodness, you are like a major spritzing. So we just want actually, we just want this to kind of dribble, not be like major, major spurting. All right, so try and get it to just lightly mist. <laughs> and then you can dab where a little bit of the excess is, and then we leave it to dry. So that's where I'm kind of coming and going today, so it's perfect. And then we're gonna repeat. So we're gonna keep doing that, um, kind of the mirror effect, the water and vinegar, until we have enough mirroring that we like the effect. You could skip the water and vinegar. What that does is give it more of a modeled, modeled look. That's probably the right word. I was gonna say texture, but it's more kind of this modeled, aged, worn kind of look. Um, but again, just keep doing that and you can check the front to see that you get it how you would like it. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do some of our painting. So keep going with this, alternating with it. You want the vinegar, if you're doing this, you want that, um, while this is still wet and then just kind of dab away a little bit of, um, the detailing. And uh, then we'll be back. I, so I switched the um, water vinegar into this mister bottle just to make my life easier. And I've done three coats and I'm thinking it's enough. Now, it's a little hard to tell when it's just like this, but you can see if you hold the piece of white paper up behind it. You can see how much mirroring there is. Now what really sets the mirror finish off is to, I just wanna make sure I do it the right side now. <laughs> yeah, be like me to uh, reverse it. So what really sets the mirror off is to cover it with black. In the last video, what I did was at this stage, I decoupaged. And what happened was it lifted around the edges, um, the, it, it lifted the mirrored effect. So I think that we've got two ways to go. Either we paint the black in um, and then decoupage, or I'm thinking I'm thinking that I might decoupage the front of this, like like paint the front of it, and then um, and, and glue it down, and then paint the black so that at least the black isn't going over top of some of my edging. I don't know. I'm just debating which way I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Just because I like this faded look of it all, and I don't wanna lose that. So, we'll go 
is putting my glue all on the wrong side. Okay. <sighs> Unlike regular decoupage, we're doing this face down. So I actually have to put the glue on the other side. Oh my gosh. All right. So because we're going to be looking at it from the other side, so this is reverse decoupage, Cindy. So you actually are putting the image side face down. So hopefully I can get this up and off my paper and then I haven't glued it down entirely. Awesome. Yay, okay. So let's glue this down in that general area that I left for it. And this is where this is where I started to go wrong last time because I can't do my, my decoupage medium over the top of that paper yet because that would still lift off my, my mirror effect, I need to paint it. So I have a little black dress from DIY and I have another paintbrush. And let me move that out of the way. I'm going to paint this carefully over the top. Now, I just want a smooth coat over here, but it's when I get to my image I don't want to cover this whole image with the black because it's going to darken my image too much. So around the edges, I just want to sort of feather it in a little bit. And then I actually want to paint that over with white, but I'm going to do that after I get my decoupage medium on it. If nothing else, you'll have another video of what not to do. In my head, this works way better than the last time. So we'll see. We'll see when I lift this up. We'll be able to tell as soon as I've put the black on, actually. The image will show up better once I paint the white over it. We're still a couple of steps away from that. Okay. All right. Are your fingers crossed? Because my fingers are crossed right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks good, guys. Okay. And that image will pop a little bit more after. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna leave this to dry and then we're gonna come back and uh, decoupage, which means I'm taking my Mod Podge and I'm just covering the whole thing. So you can use Mod Podge, you could use um, liquid patina from the DIY line. Uh, whatever you have open, I had this open, so I just go with that rather than having too many things open and they all dry up on me. Um, so. We're gonna come back, we're gonna decoupage, we're gonna paint white, and then we get to see the whole thing. This is exciting. Okay, this is, this is how it should go. This is working how I need it to work. Perfect. And now it's time to add the decoupage medium. Now you could put it over the whole thing, you could just put it over top of this, it really doesn't matter. So we're just looking to protect the paper. We wanna put this on before we add our white paint just so that um, the paper doesn't absorb all that paint. Um, it just kind of seals it up perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put this on, let it dry. And, and I have to tell you, the, um, the coats of this in the water, really, they were dry for within eight to 10 minutes. So I did three coats 
that's maybe 30 minutes, mostly just going off and doing other things and coming back. So that's dry time, not crafting time. And, um, you know, and, and I ripped some paper. You saw how quick the black paint was. This is just as quick. This really is a very cool, but very quick craft. So I'm just gonna paint over the whole thing now that my paper is is down and dry just to kind of might as well why not <laughs> protect it all and as soon as this is dry i'm going to give it a coat of white paint so i'll just use um beadboard by diy it's sitting right here ready and waiting for me so i'll just get that covered with the white paint uh, let it dry because it's going to be inside your frame, if you have a backing, you don't necessarily have to seal it. Um, I've, I've got this little backer board that's going to go in, but I probably will anyway, you know, just to make sure everything is in there and safe and honky-dory. Um, but, you know, you get to do whatever you want. So I'm going to do the white. And I'm going to assemble, and then I'll be back to show you the finished result. I've got the backing on this, and with that gold frame, oh, I'm trying to avoid the lights. Look at that. You get this antique vintage look, kind of that antique mirror vintage look sort of shelf sitter. I mean, you could hang this on the wall, you could just prop it up against some, some books with a little, um, you know, bottle brush tree or some Christmas trees beside it. This is super cute. And you guys, that is the perfect way to do it. That um, we don't get that big halo that I had before. You get that decoupaged item in there. You can see how that white just kind of brightened it up a little bit, whereas we've got the black on the mirror. I love this little, I love this little frame now. So give this a try. This was super quick, you know, especially because I didn't have to paint it out. Um, the frame in any way, it was just perfect as it was with what I was trying to do. Jamie Ray Vintage Decoupage Paper. I do have some of the Christmas still in the shop, but uh, you know, use what you've got, find a cute Christmas napkin, do the same thing with it, and you just need the mirror spray. I'll drop the link to the old video, but I'll also drop a link to where I picked my spray up on Amazon. Um, one little can goes really, really far. So don't, don't overbuy on the mirror effects. It goes a long way. You're not using a lot. And I would say all told with drying time, you have this done in less than an hour. And most of the time you're off watching television waiting for it to dry. <laughs> so very quick, very easy and really adorable. I love this. Let me know what you guys think. I'm look, I look forward to seeing you on the next one as always. And until then, take care.